Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Elgin Martinez from the Immigrant Education Channel, coming to you with another informative video. This other video is going to be for immigrants who have just arrived in the U.S., preferably New York City. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, this video is going to be basically like an advice section. My advice to you, ladies and gentlemen, is if you've just arrived in New York or any part of the state, this might be applicable anywhere in the U.S., is to first apply for a state ID. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that are legal, you can go to the Department of Motor Vehicle and apply for a uh, non-driver's ID. In the case of um, other immigrants that might be without status, you could apply for an ID NYC or a non-standard driver's license at the Department of Motor Vehicle. Reason being, ladies and gentlemen, is that, say for example, you go to a check cashing place, they request for a form of identification, you present your um, green card. Ladies and gentlemen, there are a lot of people or several people in the state that don't even know what a green card is or how a green card looks. So my point is that by having a state ID, you alleviate a lot of problems. You know, you um, save yourself from going through a lot of, um, a, a lot of complication in that sense. Because say, for example, if you had a state ID at the time that they request a form of identification, then the case would have been closed there. But by them not knowing what a green card is, then they're going to request another form of identification. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, my other advice to you would be to get a library card. A library card is a very invaluable asset for any new immigrant to the U.S. I'll even go as far as saying that a library card is more invaluable than a credit card. Reason, Reason being, being is that, that with a library card, you can get a plethora of information. You can also apply for a lot of free classes, such as English as a Second Language, Microsoft Word, Excel, etc. The other thing that I'm going to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, is in reference to getting a job once in the U.S. One of the fastest ways to get it in a job, especially here in New York, ladies and gentlemen, is to go into the medical field. That is becoming a home health aid, or I would say applying for a security job. Reason being is that the learning curve for these jobs are not steep. For example, you could do a security classes in as short as three days, after which you could be working in house after like a week time. In the case of the home health aid, the classes are about five weeks long. And once you've completed those classes, you could then apply with an agency to work as a home health aid. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this video. Please share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.